What are you doing? I defuse this situation. You just gotta wait for him to start throwing dead bodies out. Don't give me grief, Luke. We're following procedure. You don't like it too bad. My sister and my daughter are in there. I can use your mind where Bobby's concerned. She was running late. She wasn't in the building when this crisis started. She's at the PCPD answering questions about some charity event. I understand. I've got family in there, too. Robin? And George. Cell phone reception is dodgy at best, so we're flying blind. But Lucky and Rodriguez are evacuating the building, starting at the restaurant level. There's a safe stairway at the rear of the building. So everything's happening in the lobby? It appears that way. Do you have a list of hostages? No. You don't even know if any of them are still alive. You're in over your head, Bob. You, you better hope you're wrong, because I'm all you got. I'm not going anywhere near the stairs. I was in the Port Charles Hotel fire. Stairwells were deadly. We're not dealing with the fire. But there is a security matter that requires the immediate evacuation. I give you my word, the stairs are safe. We know what we're doing, so if you would, please just follow Detective Rodriguez and do it exactly as he says. Uh, Alice, come on in. Have you seen her? You know, I was on the dance floor all night, and all I can tell you is she wasn't there. I thought Lulu was with you. Why, are you worried? Am I asking? Last I saw Lulu, she was going downstairs. Well, we better hope she left the building, because something very serious is going on in this hotel. You really are worried. I didn't think you cared. He just went out on the terrace. Half of PCBD is out there. Along with the SWAT team. Oh, that's not good. We need to get out of here. Alan's missing, Monica. Alan and Lulu went downstairs. They're probably waiting for us outside. Come on. Somebody at the donations desk probably lost a couple of checks, and they called the cops. So try not to worry. It's really hard not to. Maxine never made it up here. Well, we can't just wait for the thing to blow up. How much time do you think we have? You could at least tell me your name. Three. That's ridiculous. That's all you need to know. Okay. Bye. It's nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Maxie Jones. My dad's a government agent, not that you need to worry. He hasn't been seen in this town for years. My mother either, as a matter of fact, she's been in Texas taking care of my very tenacious great-grandmother. So that leaves me, my little sister Georgie, and my loving stepfather, Mac, who happens to be police commissioner, if that carries any weight with you. Nice try, but save your breath. TV hostage tricks won't work. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're trying to tell me about your family and your life? Trying to get me to see you as a real person? I'm not interested. Okay. Okay. Well, you have to be interested in getting out of here. I mean, you broke into this hotel to get that briefcase. You must know how to defuse it. Not without the code. Wait, so what's your plan? You want to sit here and passively just wait for that thing to self-destruct and kill you? Actually... I'm going to make sure that you're between me and the blast. You stable. Nice work, Doctor. I thought he was going to bleed out. Yeah, a couple more minutes and there's more shrapnel. Scalpel. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You can't just go in. I mean, that, that shrapnel could be embedded in primary function tissue. You need to do spot scan on it. It's not strong enough to take a break and come back. That'll kill him just as surely as a shrapnel. Would you listen to me for once? Okay, I haven't done this surgery, but I've observed several. Now, he's strong enough to withstand the time that it's going to take to get a new spot scan. The doctors, let's not fight. It occurs to me that 99% of the things you say to me are in contradiction. I say, Apple, you can't wait to say orange. It also occurs to me that 100% of the time, I'm right. Really? Well, this time you're not. Okay, if you go into this guy's head without a road map, you can turn him into a vegetable. How will that look in your all-important surgical record? I'm sorry, I can't help you. Lorenzo tells me much about his business as you do the same. Maybe, maybe I didn't make myself clear. All hell is breaking loose at the Metro Court, and it's centered around whatever Alcazar took there. Now, if you know something about this, and you don't tell me, you're going to be just as responsible for any of those lives that are lost. And that includes your family. Benefit. Please just tell me what I need to get him out. What, now you care about the quarter Stop stalling. I'm sorry, I can't help That's you. That's a lie. 
You can help me. I don't know what landed Alcazar back in the hospital, but he knew this shipment had to go through. You were the only one he would trust enough to turn it over to. Are the contents of that briefcase worth Alan and Emily's lives? Look, I probably don't know as much as you think I do, okay? It's anyone's guess what's ever in that briefcase. I don't know. My information is only logistical. It, it's okay. I, I, I'm listening. Lorenzo was acting as the middleman. He got the shipment from the seller, and he was supposed to hand it over to the buyer's rep tomorrow. Do you have a name? Mr. Craig. Would you look at that trip check, Trace? Oh, it's always drifting to the left. It's not a problem. I applaud you, though, Mr. Corinthos. You didn't even flinch when I fired the gun past your head. Very impressive. So to reward your extraordinary courage, the doctors have my permission to attend to the lady with a gunshot wound. See how nice I can be? You call this bastard. Excuse me? Did you say something? She didn't say anything. Alan, Emily, can you help Robin? Hey. Hey, Nicholas. Oh, not you again. I'm trying to run the civilized operation here. You keep getting in my way. No more, or your little lady friend here pays. Occupation, baby's breath. Nurse. Let her join the others. You step away from her. The woman you shot has HIV. So unless you and your men want to worry about toxic blood, you'll let me help my cousin. Robin is on the cocktail, so the chances of infection are minuscule. But Elizabeth, you're pregnant. I don't want you to take any chances. So just do whatever you can without the risk of exposure. I can't be here. I can't be here. I'm, I'm, I feel like my head's going to explode. Somebody, please. You gotta let me out. Could somebody just please shut her up? I got it. See, we have to calm down, right? You're just making him mad. We're gonna get out of this. You're gonna have to help me out of here so we can get out of this. I cannot treat this woman here. She's bleeding and going into shock. We need equipment. Oh. Sorry. You son of a bitch, will you have to let someone take her out? Hey, run! <laughs> uh, uh, so, everyone's clear. I don't have to do anything.